Having a square uh, frame is very important. Today we're going to show you how to make this square frame on a granite surface or any kind of flat surface like glass will work. Make sure you do it on a very flat surface, then you'll get a perfect square like this. It does not wobble. It's perfectly square, whether you flip it sideways or upside down. Hi guys, this is 3dprinterschool.com. Today we're going to go ahead and uh, learn how to build a Voron 2.4. I'm using a Voron 2.4 kit from Formbot. It can be from any kit actually. Mine is a 350 millimeter build, but it should be the same for the instruction. It just, the size is gonna be different. The 10 of these that are the second longest are gonna be the A extensions. The B extension is gonna be the longest of the four. They're gonna have holes in them, which the other ones don't. The C extrusion, you should have two of them. This third longest one. And then the D extrusion is the second shortest one and the E extrusion should be the shortest one. This first step, you're gonna need two A extrusions, the second longest, and also one longest extrusion. First step, you will need M516 nuts, and you're gonna place them on one of the ends here and just screw it in, maybe halfway. Also this guy, maybe a bit more than halfway. Maybe two thirds. And make sure you work on a very flat surface. I actually didn't use a very flat, well, I used a desk, like a wooden desk. But best is some kind of um, stone, something like a granite or glass. And we're going to simply go ahead and attach this on the bottom here. And you're gonna lay it on some kind of flat surface. And you're gonna be able to go through here. I've got a little sink here that's really nice. And you're gonna screw it in tight, okay? This is why you wanna work on a flat surface. This makes it completely flat. Now before you flatten it, make sure it's flat sideways also. Okay, that's very flat. Let me double check my work. Okay, that's very flat. And you're gonna do the same thing. Put this other guy at the bottom and do 90 degrees. Make sure it's flat there. All right. Very flat, double check your work. Make sure it's flat here. Also make sure it's flat here. And make sure it's flat on this side. Okay, you're gonna take the whole side, place it up. You're gonna get another whole, whole side and plug it in over here. Just screw in uh, one of the shorter sides, all right, extrusion A, and you're gonna maybe scream maybe two thirds all the way, almost all the way. You're gonna take the whole side on the long one, slide it down, make sure it's 90 degrees, flat, okay, make sure the line, flat, and boom shakalaka. Okay, and then we're, you're gonna, now we're gonna attach a sh smaller piece over here. You're gonna grab another A extrusion and go ahead and connect it here. So I'm simply gonna go ahead and screw this in. And you're gonna just slide it in here. Make sure it's sitting flat on the frame there. For this last part, I'm gonna actually do it over here. Make sure it's, sorry, because of the camera angle here. You can place a smaller extrusion, make sure it's flat, and just sort of hold it against it. That way you know the sides are flat, there we go. 
Okay, and that's all square. It's square on the bottom and also square on the sides. I'm gonna double check my work over here and just make sure to square it up. Now, if you start on square surface, it's a lot easier to work with, obviously, because you can square up everything. Let me also double check my work over here. Just double check the square. Oops. So make sure it's flat on the bottom and also sides by placing another extrusion and push against it. That's very flat. I'm going to just double check my work over here. Okay, push against the 90 degrees. And boom, that's very, very flat. And let's go ahead and uh, do this guy here. So you're going to take the... the uh, B extrusion and go ahead and screw in a M516 and these are these Allen screws are handy because it's really easy rather than using the small ones I highly recommend them you guys slide it in the long one again go ahead and use the smaller extrusions to square up the sides now you got square bottom and square sides and you're gonna have a very good printer all right it's nice and square you're gonna go ahead and take a smaller a extrusion and go ahead and insert a screw on both sides because so now because we're gonna go ahead and connect Get it so you're just about maybe like three millimeters in. You can slide it in. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and just slide it in over here in order to get this thing squared. Over here a little bit like this. And I'm going to go ahead and square it, push this against it, and also push this. Okay, so it's everything's being pushed 90 degrees. So everything is very, very, very square. All right, that's how it's done. For this last piece, you're gonna need uh, to put two screws. So there should be a screw here and a screw here. And you're gonna slide in the last extrusion be the long piece. And it's very, very square right now. All right, I'm gonna put it on this side over here. And I'm gonna take the last extrusion and it should fit and right there also square up this side okay and I'm also gonna square up this side over here I'm gonna push against it completely square on the bottom and on the side that looks very good Okay, make sure there's no movement from the side to side. If there is a tiny bit, try adjusting a little bit. I think that's pretty square. We're gonna do the rest, rest over here. So I'm gonna flip it and let's make sure the bottom is also square. So we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, the B extrusion. Go ahead and insert two. Sorry, it's so cold here that uh, my, my fingers are just getting trapped. Oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just slide it in there. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and square it up. Square up. And tighten it up. Okay, that's square. Square up, square bottom. That's very, very square. Okay, next one. We grab another A extrusion. I wish I had a bigger kitchen because I'm sort of the 350 is sort of falling but at least I have a really flat surface to work with okay let's set this guy on top slide it in again square it up Two more, sorry. Grab another A extrusion. this guy and slide it in there and let's actually <coughs> this side first square up it's nice to have a little ledge so you can drive this in like that square oops <laughs> sorry square Push down, make sure everything's square. Okay, that's in there. And then also this other side. Alright, we got one more. That's looking very, very square. One more A extrusion. Sorry, B, yeah, A extrusion. part in over here slide over and let's square it up grab a piece of that there and push against it squared Right, I'm going to go 
square this up. Okay. That is very, very square. Hi right, guys, that's very, very square. Try pushing. That's very, very square. Because we use a uh, square ground. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip it on the side and see how square it is. Now that's very square. That is very, very square. You can double check your squareness by using a machinist 90 degree angles. Very square. Very square. All right. And very square. Because we work with a square surface, it's all very, very square. All right, so you should be good to go. If you're working on granite or glass, you shouldn't need to use a 90 degree. Even if you're off by a tiny bit, it's not gonna really affect your prints. All right, don't be a perfectionist. So we're done with our square. That should have took about 20 minutes of your time to make a square, square super square. All right, this part should be pretty easy for you guys. So you should now have a square frame to build your Voron 2.4. We go to part two.